Good day, Stanley. Happy Christmas. I hope you're going to be uh, seeing this on Christmas. Old Grandpa's not doing too good on his face here, but that's okay. It's getting better. I have a book for you today that's a real treat for Christmas. It's called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and there's old Santa Claus back there. Ooh, there he is. And you know what? I opened up this book, and right inside the book... Whose name is that right there? Your mom's name. This was your mom's name. Book. Well, excuse me. This was your mom's book when she was a little girl. So let's start reading Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. One day, there was a reindeer named Rudolph who lived at the North Pole in Toyland. Rudolph was younger and smaller than the other reindeer there. They all had proud, tall antlers. Rudolph's antlers were only tiny little stubs. Worst of all, Rudolph had a nose that was big and bright red. It was so red that it glowed in the dark. Poor Rudolph. He wanted to be like the other reindeer in Toyland. Oh, to have a small brown nose instead of a big bright red one. The other reindeer made fun of Rudolph and called him names. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, they teased over and over again until tears glistened on Rudolph's large red nose. Sometimes the other reindeer made a circle around Rudolph and sang, Red nose, red nose, a funny sight, big as an apple and twice as bright. They kicked up snowballs with their tiny hoofs and covered Rudolph with a blanket of white fluffy snow. You're not being very nice to him, are they, Stanley? All the reindeer loved to play games. They played tree tag and snow slide and tumble bones. But Rudolph was never asked to play. He stood behind a pine tree and watched. He was very lonely. See Rudolph right there watching behind the pine tree. Rudolph couldn't even play hide and seek with the rabbits. His glowing red nose gave him away every time. <laughs> That's kind of funny, huh? Before Christmas Eve, Santa's elves posted a sign right on the gate to Toyland. Santa's team choosing time, the sign said. All the reindeer were asked to line up at 8 o'clock in the meadow. Santa Claus was coming to choose the team that, he would, that would deliver presents to every good little boy and girl in the world. The reindeer fairly danced with excitement when they heard the news. They pranced and tossed their antlers and pawed the snowy ground with their hoofs. Each reindeer hoped he'd be chosen to guide Santa's sleigh. It was the greatest honor a reindeer could ever have. In the meadow, all the reindeer in Toyland, except Rudolph, stood in a line while Rudolph, well, excuse me, while Santa inspected them. Santa chose carefully. Only the fastest, the strongest, and the best reindeer would do. I think Dasher will be fine. He's the biggest reindeer, said Santa. Dasher, wrote, the, wrote his elf assistant in a big book. And Dancer is the strongest, said Santa, pulling his beard. Dancer, wrote the elf. Ho, ho, let's see, continued Santa. Here's Prancer and here's Vixen. They make the smoothest landings on rooftops. Comet's the fasted, and Cupid's the most sure-footed, said Santa. I pick them. <laughs> and last, said Santa, I choose Donder and Blitzen. They're the best at twisting over treetops and skimming over telephone poles. The reindeer in Santa's team were very happy. They rubbed noses. They danced and clinked their antlers together. Even the reindeer who weren't chosen were given good jobs. One was to try out electric trains. Another was to cuddle Christmas kittens. I have an electric train now out in my pool shed, too. We just got that yesterday. Nana gave me a train set for Christmas. The only reindeer without a job was Rudolph. He wanted to help, but he knew he'd be laughed at, so he stayed hidden behind the holly hedge. At last, it was Christmas Eve. Santa's elves were busy packing the sleigh. I don't care if they do make fun of me, said Rudolph suddenly. I want to help too. He dashed from his hiding place behind the hedge and went to find Santa. There must be something I can do to help, he decided. 
The night was bitter cold and a terrible fog covered all of the earth. Santa's elves kept bumming, bumping into each other as they hitched up the team. They could hardly see as they put on each bright red harness and tied each jingle bell. To make matters worse, Dasher and Dancer were fighting over who would be the lead reindeer. I was chosen first, said Dasher, stamping angrily. But you always trip over the moon, said Dancer, kicking a falling star. Even Santa was cross. We'll never get there if you two don't stop quarreling, he said. And where is my Christmas list? Dash it all, I can't see a thing in this fog. Just then, a soft red glow lit up the snow. Thank goodness, said Santa, suddenly jolly again. I found my list. Ho, ho, ho. I must have tucked it in my belt. See, there's Santa's list of good boys and girls. Well, who brought the la this fine lantern, said, asked Santa. I must take it with me. Why, I can see perfectly now. It's not a lantern, said Rudolph, trembling. The light comes from my, my nose. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, said Santa. I'm certainly glad to see you. You will, light, you will guide my sleigh tonight. I appoint you the head of my team and number one reindeer in all the world. Rudolph held his head high. Proudly he pranced to the front of the team. All the other reindeer bowed. Donder and Dancer helped Rudolph put on his harness, and Cupid gave him a beautiful sprig of holly berries. Then, down, down, down through the clouds and over the sleeping houses, Santa and his team flew on that foggy Christmas Eve. And leading the whole procession was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So, you, so, if you see a soft glow in the sky on Christmas Eve, you can be sure that Rudolph, the most famous reindeer of all, is very near. And that is the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. They even have a song about him. So I hope you had a good Christmas, and we will be talking to you again, Stanley, very soon, I hope. Bye-bye.